Our business is saving heritage buildings. We buy undermanaged and deteriorated heritage buildings that are in threat of demolition and we save them. We hope that over the course of the next several years, we will be able to return the Gladstone Hotel to its original splendor and glory, creating an environment that is geared towards arts and music. I wish them luck. Okay. Um, I've been here a long time and I, I see what goes on around here and I think that they might get busy and they might do okay, but I really don't think so. When the Tippins bought the Gladstone, they had no idea anyone actually lived here. All their other buildings have been empty. They've never inherited a staff before, let alone tenants. A lot of people live in hotels. Deanie Petty lived in a hotel for six months at the Royal York. But I'm not in that financial category. I'm lucky that I can afford this place. But if I couldn't, I don't know where I'd go. I couldn't take the uh, life living in a hostel. I'm not strong enough to be on the street. I couldn't live that kind of life. I think the poor tenants, you know, they increased the rent too high for them. Pretty soon you're going to see a lot of people moving out because they just can't afford to live here. Tonight is an indication of what the future holds for the Gladstone Hotel, the infamous, the oldest operating hotel in Toronto, the Gladstone Hotel. This is what it's all about. This is what it's going to be. This is the epicenter. This is ground zero Toronto. This is where it matters, the Gladstone Hotel. We're full. You can't get a room. Fully booked. And we are, we're an artsy night tonight. It's an artsy night in the rooms tonight. This doesn't appeal to me anymore. No Don't even want to come in here. Not at all. Don't like, there's a lot of things going on. Don't like nothing. They're young people and young people want to make money. That's what I think. The, the rich get rich from the poor. Those people have never been out in the street, I guess they don't know what it's like. <laughs>